Now we can start the other side. What troubles you bring? Mm. It is a one-handed sword. It doesn't have the accuracy mod on it, though. Accuracy is what we need. You the beast we go. Just a path to the crossroads. Just the crossroads. Here. I'm getting back into Warframe recently. Like a buddy of mine, uh, like when the Wayfinders. Early access started. A buddy of mine started playing it, and like he, like he streamed it in our Discord for a little bit. And like, and the thing that I unfortunately noticed about it was that it was too similar to Warframe. So, uh, Wayfinder is developed by. Airship Syndicate, the uh, the developers of uh, Battle Chasers Night War, Ruined King, A League of Legends Story, and uh, and Darksiders Genesis. Like it's a it's a studio made up of former members of Vigil, the dark the original Darksiders studio. So like some of the members went off to create Gunfire Games, which are the developers of Darksiders 3 and uh, Remnant from the Ashes 1 and 2. Well, I think Remnant 2 is just called Remnant 2. I think it's just Remnant from the Ashes and Remnant 2. Um, I think they also made... Uh, they're like co-op and a co-op hunting game like uh, like the hunt showdown or something like that but so like airship syndicate like they uh, Joe Madeira he a for, uh, like a former uh, comic book artist who created the uh, the Battle Chasers comic book series, which is what Battle Chasers Network is based off of, has a working relationship with because you, 
was a founding member of Vigil, and like you know, he designed all the characters from Darksiders and like a uh, very pro prolific uh, artist. Like he uh, he has a working relationship with uh, Digital Extremes also. I don't know if there's people in Digital Extremes who are former members of of Vigil as well. I have no idea, uh, but. The old matter here, uh, like he, like there's actually some, some, like a lot, there's actually quite a bit of art in Warframe that is just, uh, like art from Joe Matavira, like, you know, designed by Joe Matavira, like there's, a uh, Warframe skins and stuff designed by him. Uh, so I guess, like, like that relationship they had, uh, allowed them, like, Airship Syndicate, his, uh, his shoot his uh I'm gonna call it a branch off. His offshoot, there we go. His offshoot of vigil. Like allowed them to form a partnership where a digital extremes became the publisher and the uh I guess like the infrastructure team for 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 the Wayfinder project, but unfortunately, like uh, I I guess like like because they're working with uh, digital extremes people, like they went and they like they cribbed way too hard on the Warframe formula, so. And I can, and I've been trying to express to my friends like, like how, why it is that it's bad that they did this. Like, think of if, like, you know, like you are a company that has a, like, kind of like a genre-defining game, and then. You become the publisher of the main competition to your genre-defining game. You know, like that's the, that's the way it feels to me. Like, like, like there's like they're trying, like, uh, like they they made the you know like the business decision to fund the development of the game that is. Trying to compete against their own game, which is really weird, uh, because you know, because as it is, you know, like uh, Digital Extremes is also in development of Soul Frame, which is another game set in the so in the Warframe universe that also is a, a game in that same kind of genre. And even though Soul Frame is meant to be more of an RPG than it is a like a looter, uh, like grinding game. And mind you, we do, we still don't know enough about Soul Frame to say for sure that there isn't grinding in it. But like we know that uh, there, the idea going into it is that it's supposed to be more of an RPG than uh, than a grinding game. So, like I've been going back into Warframe, like trying to like to feel out if like maybe like maybe I'm wrong maybe uh, there is more there is more going on in Wayfinder than it seems you know to differentiate it but like I like every single turn it's like you know like, like everything just feels like this is just Warframe with less to do like you know like obviously like you know like the art is completely different. It's more of a, uh, you know, like the Joe Matarera style art. Which, in all honesty, like, uh, like, I, like, I'm sure that a lot of people would say that that games like, uh, like Battle Chasers Night War and And uh, Ruined King and Wayfinder, like are uh, kind of like taking the style of World of Warcraft, but 
in reality, World of Warcraft is in the style of Joe Madeira. Because, you know, Joe Madeira made Battle Chasers before World of Warcraft was ever a thing. So... Like, you know, like, like Wayfinder, like, you know, like, like I, I can see why people would think that, you know, art-wise, you know, art it seems like it's, uh, like it's trying to crib on, on World of Warcraft, but in reality, it's just, you know, it's the style that inspired the style of World of Warcraft. Like, Joe Madeira is a hugely influential artist. Yeah, we gotta look at these. Hmm. Massive upgrade to the damage of our other weapon. There's no flat accuracy on. It wouldn't be as fast. Saber should be very fast. So not anything. Hmm. Got attack speed right on it. Comparatively, what are we looking at? This has some flat accuracy on. I think if we put this on, I think it actually makes this stronger. Because of the fact that our our bottom is actually smaller on this. 92. Fill in the sub menu. Ninety-five. Oh, I mean that's so good. Do it like this. And you two. And you one. And you five. And you one. Yeah. That's how I was thinking. Damage actually goes up because this has a smaller bottom. this we're looking at 126 put this on 98 of yeah. these what? return if you must yeah because I really want to like wayfinder you know because I like I'm, I'm a huge supporter of like all of the people who, all the people from Vigil. Like I'm a huge supporter of all of them. Just because you know, like, like, uh, oh, we should probably fresh crossroads. Like I'm a huge fan of everyone from, from Vi you know, every former member of Vigil, because you know, like, like uh, the original Darksiders is one of my all-time favorite games. You know. Like one of my favorite favorite games. Like I've beaten that game, I don't know, like ten times. You know? Like I love that game. Like Dark Siders Two was okay. Like Dark Siders Two, like like that's one of those games where like you could tell that. Like, they couldn't tell the difference between... Oh. Yep. I see what I did. Back to that. Yeah, but... Oh, 
Darksiders 2 is one of those games where like you could tell that the developers couldn't tell the difference between uh, when they were feeling inspired and when they were just you know throwing crap at the wall you know they're gonna get like, they couldn't differentiate brainstorming from like actual like uh, good ideas so they just like kept on like over developing that game to the point where it had no identity so so you know like instead of feeling like a successor to the original Darksiders it was like okay so this is uh like the the updated Prince of Persia with like dungeon crawling elements and like like uh, like actually so it was something kind of funny I, I honestly never thought about it until just now <laughs> about that uh, the <laughs> the closest game to Dark Siders two is actually the newer the newer Assassin's Creed games <laughs> like the ones that became just like like weird open world RPGs. Like those are like those are the exact thing that Darksiders 2 was. <laughs> Just like like uh, this confluence of all this stuff that doesn't work together, but that the developers refuse to accept that they don't work together. Because I actually really liked the uh, the Assassin's Creed games until they became like the modern. Well, actually, no. Actually, pretty much like Assassin's Creed Three is what ruined Assassin's Creed for me. Like, uh, but mind you, like you know, like it wasn't like it wasn't anything like uh, like Assassin's Creed Three didn't do any of the like the modern Assassin's Creed things. It's just that in Assassin's Creed Three, like that game released so buggy and broken that. Like, I kept on losing my progress playing that game. You know, I would keep having to, like, repeat, like, the same, like, assassination missions over and over again because the game would just keep crashing. And eventually I just got sick of it and I never ended up finishing it. So I finished, uh... Like, I finished Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Revelations, I think it was called. And so the Ezio trilogy, basically. Uh, then I never finished three, and after that, like the only other Assassin's Creed game that I ever like played through and finished was uh, the one in the one in like Victorian England Syndicate, I think it's called. Like that one I played because like it seemed like they were like turning the assassins into uh, into like assassin Batmans. Which was a thing that I've been wanting to see from the Assassin's Creed franchise for a long time. Like when I originally played Assassin's Creed, like my whole I like the the thing that, like, the thing that made me, like, really get into that series had nothing to do with any of the historical fiction stuff. Uh, it was entirely that, like, I fell in love with, uh, <laughs> like, the idea of what it would mean for, uh, like, Desmond to eventually become, like, a modern-day assassin. And then they never... And mind you, like, I never finished Assassin's Creed 3, but I know that, you know, because, like, uh, like I got my brother, like, really into that series, which I, I regret. Like, <laughs> like, my brother is, like, a die-hard Assassin's Creed fan because of me. But he's played every single one of those games multiple times. But... Oh, well, my brother, like, uh... He, Uh, 
I completely lost my train of thought there. Like I finished that trial, heard Izaro talking, and forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> yep, I have five already. Nice. Okay, so. Well, it's just damage. And at the end, we get overwhelming physical reduction, physical damage reduction. On the bottom, we get our accuracy. On. Oops. Nice. Now, our main hand accuracy. Here it is. the mana thing, then I drop it. Boost recovery for instant recovery. No, thank you. Any four links? That a white? Four links. And no other currency. No other currency deals. Travel far. The white 
gratis. Normally, uh, <clears throat> normally I would take either the bismuth or a belt, but mm, well, I mean, I guess my mana situation isn't as bad since I have the clarity now. Let's go with the with the leather. Strength, reduced enemy strength, stun threshold, a little bit of energy, yield. And this is a terrible belt. That is so bad. <laughs> the only thing that makes that an upgrade over the belt I had before is the fact that there's some strength on there. <laughs> Fortunately, since we don't actually have, uh, like an in-map, like an in-area league thing this time, like we're able to get through this much faster than usual. Instead of doing league stuff as we come across it, now we just get to do it whenever we have the itch. I mean, the problem with that kind of league content is just that, <laughs> like you, you always feel like you're like you're stopping yourself from progressing. Which is why I think like a lot of people probably skip. Uh, <laughs> I probably skip. I keep wanting to call it syndicate. I keep wanting. Uh, most people probably want to skip. Uh, heist. There we go. <laughs> I found it eventually. <laughs> because like heist is actually really cool, but if you. Like, because of the fact that you have to go to the heist place to do heist. Like, you always feel like, okay, like, by, because I'm going here, you're gonna, like, you, like, like, you can't do maps if you're doing heist. You can't do anything other than heist if you go to do heist. <laughs> I'm sure it's a big turnoff for a lot of people. Yo, here to get my skill point. Later, y'all.
I'm going to hold on to that just so I can upgrade this later. Yeah. Rid of those anyway. There's greatness, you say. I'm so Thanks, man. There you go. My skill points. Yeah, nothing else for me there. So to the temple we go. I love this skill so much. The Eternal Empire was built by sick in mind. Yeah, the mods I need for my static strike are increased duration and chaining. Definitely those two. I definitely don't have the longevity on my static charge that I'd like. Pretty sure the trial was on the next level. Pretty sure there's a waypoint in here. But I might be thinking of in part two. There it is. That's what is here. So the trial must be on the next level. If I don't see the thing on the screen when I zone in, then I'll go back. Yeah, it is on this level.
And if I don't see it as soon as I pass through here, there's gotta be another side. Yeah, this must be the way forward. Gotta go to the other side to do the trial. There it is. I see you. Finish up temple and get this act done. Should be the path to the end. Yep. Here we are. Shut up, Heidi. I don't care. Go away. That thing. It slaughtered everyone. Help me.
that he was after it. The Oriasin girl. Herald of Thunder requires too much intelligence. I guess we'll run Herald of Ice. An open green. We do. I mean, I said so cry would be nice. Right, we'll go for Herald of Ice. I think that might put us too low on Ana, though. I gave the every piety would have. Farewell. My help is yours. This is the gem we've been waiting for. Can't use it just yet, but I'll pop it on. Four links. Travel far. See if that puts us too low. Kind of feels like it. But if you if you've never played Warframe before, it's very much in line with uh, 
like the type of game that Path of Exile is. I don't mean uh, like a Diablo style action RPG. I mean, like in that it's a game that uh, requires that like a, a major investment from the player in terms of uh, learning all of the like all of the systems and things. Because it does not hold your hand in the slightest. Over the years, like they've added a lot of stuff to go and like improve the early game experience, which you know, Path of Exile never does. But like it's still like a really tough game to get into. Like I, even like like I have over two hundred hours in that game, and. Like, the, like, I just got a, an, like, when I was playing the other day, I just got an achievement in that game for doing something that I had no idea was even a feature of the game. <laughs> and, like, I was fighting, I was fighting some enemy, like, it told me to press X, I pressed X, and then all of a sudden, I got an achievement. And when I went back to the ship... You know, like, the, the guy that I killed was suddenly, like, a, uh, like, a named NPC that I, like, I, I can't even tell if the guy is, like, my enemy or my ally now. <laughs> I guess that is that kind of, like, a weird thing. <laughs> like, because apparently, like, I turned him into, like, a lich or something. It's like, okay, like, so you're glad I turned you into a lich or mad about it and you want to kill me or you know like, what's, <laughs> what's the situation here it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to judge whether or not it was a good or bad thing because <laughs> to me the guy here oh i turned the dude into a lich it's like yeah that's that's uh not a good thing it's a very bad thing that i turned somebody into a lich but like, maybe liches in Warframe are a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm guessing, like, it's for... Uh, like, the Heart of Deimos, or whatever it was called. Like, there's an, there was an update. Like, where... Like, there's stuff called, like, Necromex or something that you get for doing that. Well, I would assume that it's, it's it, like, related to that in some way. But... But, like, I never did... Like, I haven't done that... That story quest because like when I started with Warframe I didn't know that there was actually like a major story involved with that game <laughs> because I started it in like 2017 but it already been out for like five or six years or something. But I had no idea that, there, you know, there was any kind of story involved in Warframe because, you know, like, Warframe isn't advertised by the story it has. <laughs> so, like, the story is supposed to be like a, like a, like, almost like a secret that, like, the fans of Warframe share with each other. Yeah, like, like our mana restrictions are just way too harsh right now. We're gonna have to drop the. I cannot carry this. Here we go. We're gonna have to drop. Herald. Should be easier to get around now. Good, good. Much better. Yeah, so if anybody watching this has played Warframe and does know about the story, like, I'm as far as the the first major thing that you're not allowed to talk about as a Warframe fan. 
That's as far as I've gotten. Like, I don't even, like, like uh, the systems involved with that thing. I don't even have the, uh... Like, I don't even know how to work on that. Like, I don't know if, like, there's, like, another story quest that you have to finish in order to... Yeah. In order to start investing in that system. I don't know. There's something I'm just noticing about the archers in here. Like, if, if any of you watched my video about... Uh, like, for my, my Facebreaker Marauder build. Like, I had mentioned that, like, uh, they had made, like, really, like, interesting updates to... Keep wanting to call it Incendiary Strike, but that's not the name. You know, the... Like, the, the fire attack skill that, you know, like, you hit enemies and, like, you build charges on them and they blow up. Like, it's just occurring to me that that skill, like, based on, like, watching those archers, that's based on Explosive Arrow. Like, they turn... Like that, that uh, melee attack skill into exploding arrow. like this Troubles you bring. Travel far. You dish up. Keep your wits about you. I dreamed this. Goodbye. There's one bright. Keep your. What has happened? And make the next rank of this. Speak. We actually have already have one. A 
Let me get rid of these mediums. Hello. Going. <laughs> For all of her strength. Okay. Where we get going? Check how far away I am from next dexterity investment. Unfortunately, far, <laughs> far way away. Very, very far from it. It might be worth it to make some changes just so I can get my dexterity sooner. So if I cut, because I was going to go down this way in order to grab these and some of this life here, then go for the Tribal Fury here and the Accuracy for Swords here. But I think I'm going to instead cut across here first. I can go and grab that. Then I'll grab them out of order. Maybe like I'll go for get this and then cut across for these. And then work on linking those up. I mean, actually, technically, it's faster to go through this way to get there than to across this way. I would get a little more dexterity, but... Yeah. Yeah, we'll go for it this way. Like, my original path, just... We'll skip all the stuff uh, on the way there.
Yeah, I don't understand why it is that this area is still in Act 1. Not Act 1. And still in Part 1. Like, it doesn't belong here anymore. Like, it has a purpose in Act 7. But in Act 2, like, you know, there's, there's no side quests involved with that anymore. There's no optional bosses involved in there anymore. Like, it's just, like, an area now. Very strange. Very close to finally being able to invest in dexterity skills again. Yeah, but put a kind of a, <laughs> like a point on how much of a time sink Warframe is. As I mentioned, I've played it for over 200 hours. And in that time, I have fully leveled five Warframes, I believe. <laughs> And there's currently like 60 something. <laughs> In the Warframe, there's a system that I can't remember the name of because I'm bad with names and it's been too many years since I've done it. There's like a thing you can do where. Like, you apply, like, a thing to the Warframe, and then, like, you, re like it, uh, you do it to the Warframe or to the weapons. And it'll reset the level from, like, they have to be max level. Then it'll reset to zero, but add, uh, like, an extra thing that lets you add more upgrades to the Warframe or the item, depending on what it is. And I've only ever done that with one Warframe. <laughs>
I need that blue though. I have a blue here. Back speed, a ton of extra armor, and some lightning damage to attacks. Very nice. We lose our fire thing there. Here. Movement speed. Lose that regen. One green. I mean, the stat says bring in Bloodlust, though we lose our faster attacks, which would severely reduce our damage. Sixty-five. Oh, wrong thing. One ninety-one. No four links. Go up to eighty now.
Oops. There it is. There it is. There, one more. There we go. At the top. Okay, over soul. Do this.
Get away. Next one will be it. Oh, really? Get the hell out of here. time we'll bend all those up you have made yeah let's look at what this helmet can do then we'll spend up all of those coins before moving on with act three Intelligence, armor, regen, don't even exist. Lots of armor. Yeah. Let's do it. I was like, that wasn't a unique, right? <laughs> I'll definitely hold on to this one. In case we're ever like, really hurting for dexterity, we'll have that on deck. And it gives us flat accuracy rating as well. We want. That's going to be it for this one. Humanity has won. Keep your wits about. I am not sort of be well. I knew this. Thank you for returning. Farewell. Our bill's coming along nicely. Uh, there's not really much for us in Act 3 other than doing our ascendancy trial and hopefully finding some four link gear. Like aside from that, like, you know, like we really have all the the skills we want for the build right now. I mean, obviously, like as I mentioned, I'd like to be able to support my double strike with uh, with an extra faster attacks, and I'd like to support my static strike with uh, pain and increased duration. You know, without the links for the links to support that, you know, none of that matters. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you, anybody who happened by to check out the playthrough. If you been enjoying listening to this old man talk about RPGs and appreciate doing all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, be Victus, Fires and Amaris, and bye.